Shedding Shackles is sponsored by Roland Trujillo. This week we're going to be talking about repentance. Billy Graham said, There's a certain amount of sorrow involved with repentance that we don't see much of today. The Puritan writer Thomas Brooks said, True repentance includes sorrow for sin and contrition of heart. When you see you're wrong, you have tears of sadness streaming down your cheeks and sobs of helpless sorrow. And I say that it's sweet. I would like to personally invite you to listen in to Shedding Shackles. We're going to be talking about repentance. Welcome to Shedding Shackles. Today's topic is all about repentance. And now, here's your Shedding Shackles host, Roland Trujillo. Hi, everyone. Today, I want to talk about God allows U-turns. I saw it as a bumper sticker one time. I've never forgotten it. It's a great little slogan, God allows U-turns, and it is true. It's a great slogan, and I can personally attest to the fact that it's true. But the saying itself, the slogan itself, the bumper sticker itself, won't do you any good unless it happens in your life. And when will it happen? I can't tell you. It'll happen when you're ready. And when you're ready, God makes it happen. He's the one that repents you. Ah, there we go. That's the word. God allows U-turns, but a U-turn is repentance. It's seeing you're wrong and being sorry about what you see. It's a helpless sadness. You see that you're wrong, but you also see that you can't make yourself right. You've tried to make yourself right. It's never worked. And what you're doing is you're actually seeing you're wrong in God's light of truth. You just see it. Now, it's a beautiful moment. It's very sweet. It's the most wonderful moment you will ever experience. And it's when your soul is softened and you're sorry. You're sorry about what you see. And you don't try to make yourself right. And that's a very beautiful moment because repentance is acceptable to God. And what it really is, it's capitulation to God. It's a cessation of hostility, see, all your life. If you're like most people, you've been fighting the truth. You've been trying to make yourself right, prove yourself right, be right, compare yourself with others and hate others because they did you wrong. And you've been selfish. And you didn't want to admit you're wrong. But finally, at some moment, and I can't tell you when it'll happen, at some moment you're ready, and I can't tell you when you'll be ready. But at that moment, God shines his light upon something, and you see it, and you see that you're wrong. Maybe you see that you hated your mom or you hated your dad. And now you just don't want to hate anymore. You want to come clean. And you're willing to admit you're wrong, regardless of the consequences. And you just bear the pain of seeing you're wrong. And perhaps tears stream down your cheeks. Quiet tears. And maybe you sob. Little heaving sobs as you see you're wrong, and you're sorry. It's a helpless sadness. You see you're wrong, but you realize you can't change yourself. And it's basically saying, I'm wrong. And that's a very beautiful moment, because repentance is acceptable to God. And he's the one that makes it happen when he shines his light upon you. It's his kindness, as Paul says in Romans I think it's chapter 2, verse 4. He says, it's God's kindness that permits you to repent. God permits you to repent. 
And who doesn't want you re to repent? Well, the people out in the world don't want you to repent. They want you to be hard. They want you to never admit you're wrong. The people out in the world, they themselves don't want to repent, so they don't want to see you repent. And who else doesn't want you to repent? Well, the devil. And yes, there is a devil. He wants you to be proud. He doesn't like shame. He doesn't want you to be ashamed of what you did and sorry about what you did. And so he'll do everything he can to prevent it. But if you just sit quietly and see you're wrong and experience what they call a godly sorrow, a sadness, you're sad about what you see, you know you can't change yourself. You're not, the tears aren't flowing because you feel sorry because you missed out on things or because you're resentful about having lost or anything like that. It's, you just see that you're wrong. It's that simple. That's the beginning. That's the beautiful moment.